When Dominic and I were researching the best approach for this film, we looked at different cinema styles, for instance, uh, film noir. We looked at horror films. We looked at really grungy, black and white, 16 millimeter music videos that we all liked. And we knew we wanted it to have a kind of grungy, dirty, punky feel, but we also knew that we were working within some restrictions. When you're making a film, you're always working with boundaries, regardless of the scale of the project. And those boundaries influence some of your decisions. And the boundaries that we were working with were time related mainly. So we had a strict amount of time that we had to make the film. And so if this was a period drama and we were shooting it as a cinema piece, you perhaps would have spent two weeks making this film. We shot this film over three days and that's not a lot of time to do something so intense with multiple cameras. So we decided that one of the most exciting styles to explore was probably a documentary style. But the way that we chose to execute that was that we worked with a DOP and a cameraman who were experienced shooting drama, but also had a lot of experience shooting documentary. And some of the drama work that they've both shot is often done in a kind of documentary style. So they're able to be agile, they're able to be responsive to action, and we were able to be really, really fluid in the process. So the way in which we worked on set, for instance, is that we would run a two to three minute segment of the play, we would rehearse it for camera, we would then go in and we would do two close-ups, we would then do them from a different perspective, we would do them from a different perspective again, and then we would shoot a wider shot and a kind of medium sized shot as well. And once we felt we had the coverage in relation to the three minute segment, we would be satisfied and move on. One of the keys to the success of this piece was the fact that we worked with two very talented actors who have lots of experience on stage, but they also have some screen experience and they know this piece intimately and they were able to turn on and off segments of the play without even thinking. And so that was absolutely crucial to us, A, getting through the schedule, but B, also getting the kind of coverage in a documentary style that we wanted, given that None of the shots were particularly planned. They were planned on our feet on the day and we were directing in the moment on monitors. Dominic on one side of a set of monitors, myself on the other, and then us in conversation about what worked, what we liked, what we wanted to change or what we needed to get that we hadn't found. Like I said, with lighting, in theatre, you use lighting to focus on a particular space in the stage or a particular character. With film, what's important for us with lighting is that there's a consistent approach. We worked with the fantastic lighting designer, Stuart Jenkins, who works for The Citizens. Stuart and I collaborated on the look and the lighting design, and he brought a fantastic lighting design to the space. We asked Stuart not to light it heavily from the front, which is something that would never happen in the theatre because, of course, you need to light an awful lot of stuff from the front in the theatre. We wanted to play with backlight, side light. We were interested in the highlights and things popping on camera from behind. It's a very simple setup, this play. It's on one bed, it's intimate, it's claustrophobic. We didn't have any other set. So we wanted to play with shadow, with flares and rim lights on heads and eyes and bodies. We were really, really pleased to work with Richard Poet, who was our editor on the film. Richard brings a mass of experience in all sorts of genres to the edit process. And what Richard did beautifully is he played with the multiple takes that we had of each segment that we filmed. And he played with shot size, he played with jump cuts, he placed lots of effects on the film. Those effects helped to give us the experience that was perhaps in Macbeth's head at the time. And I think they worked really successfully throughout the edit. So really thankful to work with Richard on it. And I think he's done a fantastic job.